When it comes to black holes, it's often the supermassive ones that grab our attention. But what about the smallest ones? Let's explore four of the smallest black hole candidates discovered so far and see how they push our understanding of the cosmos. These objects sit in what astronomers call the lower mass gap. That is the range where a compact object is heavier than the most massive neutron stars, which reach about 1.4 to 2.5 times the mass of our Sun, but lighter than the typical stellar mass black holes that usually begin around five solar masses. One solar mass is the mass of our Sun, which is about 1.989 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms, or 4.384 times 10 to the power of 30 pounds. Using solar masses makes it easier to compare these massive objects without writing out impossible numbers. First on our list is the black hole candidate, GRO J0422 plus 32. This object was discovered in 1992 during an X-ray nova outburst observed by the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory. It lies in the constellation Perseus, about 7,800 to 8,000 light years away. This compact object has a mass between 3.66 and 4.97 solar masses. For scale, a black hole of four solar masses has an event horizon diameter of about 24 kilometers, which is 15 miles. It's amazing that an object with a mass around four times that of our sun can fit into a space roughly the width of the Coachella Valley in California, considering the sun itself stretches over a million kilometers across. GRO J0422 plus 32 is one of the lowest mass black hole candidates known, and its relatively small mass challenges models of stellar collapse, which usually predict heavier remnants. Next is the G3425 binary system. This discovery was reported in 2024 using Gaia astrometric data combined with radial velocity measurements. The visible companion is a red giant star, and the compact object has a mass of about 3.6 solar masses. Its event horizon diameter is about 21 kilometers, or 13 miles. The system is located about 5,800 light years away, and the orbit is wide and nearly circular, lasting 880 days. This gentle orbit suggests a formation process that differs from the most current theories involving binary systems and supernova explosions. G3425 is a strong case for a low mass black hole in a stable binary system. Third is GW230529. This gravitational wave event was detected in May 2023 by LIGO, Virgo, and Congra. The signal is consistent with a neutron star merging with a compact object, best explained as a low mass black hole. The black hole component had a mass range between 2.5 and 4.5 solar masses. The event horizon diameter for this range is between 15 and 27 kilometers, or 9 to 17 miles. The source of these gravitational waves is hundreds of millions of light years away. This event shows that black holes in the lower mass gap could exist and may be more common than previously thought, and we are just now starting to find the means to detect them. Finally, the smallest candidate is a part of GW190814. This gravitational wave event was detected in August of 2019 by the LIGO and Virgo detectors. This event involved a large black hole of about 23 solar masses, merging with a much smaller companion. That smaller object had a mass of around 2.6 solar masses. Its event horizon diameter would be roughly 15 kilometers, or 9 miles across. The event occurred about 800 million light years away. The smaller companion could either be the heaviest neutron star ever observed, or the lightest stellar black hole. This uncertainty makes GW190814 one of the most important discoveries for understanding the boundary between neutron stars and black holes. 
the Lower Mass Gap continues to be filled with new discoveries from across the cosmos. And these objects show us that we still have much to learn on our endless quest for knowledge. New X-ray telescopes and improved gravitational wave detectors will refine these measurements and reveal more systems. Together, they will help us to define the true boundary between neutron stars and black holes. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these small but mighty objects in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit the like button or share it with other curious minds. If you'd like to learn more about the infinite wonders of the universe, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my friends, take care and be well.